I want some genetically engineered pussy. That's gonna be the top tier come, come those times. Oh, custom some genetic. Uh, yeah, yes. you won't even. I feel like that goes against e the guy creed. That guys never really. Th uh, all pussy is good pussy. We're not dicks about it, right? <laughs> oh, false, false. I'm talking about a super pussy. I'm talking about changing the way that thing Man, looks and operates. If you want a real good pussy, you can, you can order one for thirty nine ninety five at Fleshlight.com. I got a two hundred fifty dollar auto blow. It's got a, it's got machinery in there and beads working. And it, you plug that thing into a wall. I don't need your thirty dollar toy, please. <laughs> I got a robot that sucks my dick on command. <laughs> it sounds like you're firing up a jackhammer. Calling that thing a robot is so generous like, on your part. Two stroke I drew a face. Under. I drew a face on the back and put googly eyes on there, and I shake it while I'm doing it and like give it real intense stares. That's the best. That's the best sponsor we ever had. Those people, people were great. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my fucking. Uh, I lost my train of thought though. God damn it! I have a place to Auto go. Auto blow about. genetically engineered anyway. pussy. Yeah. <laughs> the, the genetically engineered pussy. All right, let's all be honest here. The vagina is is a terrible thing. Okay, like like there's a I'm part of me. I'm kind of a fan. Well, yeah, uh, like you're strong have disagree. To delve deeper into that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me delve a little bit deeper. I I love vagina. It, it's 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 one of the biggest driving forces in my life. Is vagina <laughs> getting more vagina? I think that's across the board. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. I, I'm glad we can all agree no, I mean, on that. Yeah, so well, I just well, lay that out as there. As far as but, how biology but works, let's, the let's vagina start. as an actual thing is a terrible thing. It's not pretty. Most of the time, it's not. It doesn't smell good I, unless, unless you take extreme chat right now. I no, it's not. no I cannot. Let, let, have, hey, I know a, that it may that you can't even fathom his point of view, but <laughs> let's give him a chance. Like to put it out Look, there. that thing most of the time is unattractive. Like it's. I mean, if you ever really stare at one, you ever really get a good look at look down I there. It's have a really weird relationship with vaginas. No, no, everybody. Maybe no. he's just seen some that unique. Thing, that thing is a bacteria trap. Without Man, constant what? supervision, this thing turns to a petri dish that grows fungi and you're, cheese you're and, like and some and sort of rainforest. Gorgeous. You, you, you have this conversation about every so vagina perfect. out there. The most beautiful, pristine vagina that you think is so incredibly perfect is one day of no maintenance away from being so disgusting you wouldn't put your finger in it. That's, see, that's that's not a true comparison because it's like <laughs> you, it's like an Italian guy's hair. It can look great if it's really clean and, and put to the side, but one day of neglect and it's just so <laughs> greasy that you don't even that people will just I, stop across the room. You, the you underestimate the things you, I finger. You go for a hike. There's sweat down there. There's all kinds of moisture and 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 feminine Man, discharge. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, the, the vagina is a scary of, place. The vast majority of human fucking happened before soap. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the that the vast majority of my fucking happened after so. <laughs> right. But I'm I'm gonna say that uh, maybe you're having a different cultural experience than uh, than is universal, uh, and you have opinions of vaginas that are informed by things that that are that are cultural that are maybe unique to you. Yeah. Uh, oh, and, like no, and cleanliness and germs. I've seen dozens of vaginas. <laughs> I think oh, he's probably seen thousands. I'm gonna oh, guess seen thousands. No, I don't care. Like, like it, it, it's not he's even. He's not counting matter. video vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not even a matter of personal experience either. Like, like, just look at a picture of a vagina. Like in pornography, of course, it's the perfect vagina with the perfect lighting, and it, and it, everything's everything's right. But just an average vagina, it, I'm telling you, that thing. It, it's, it's occurred a, to me. It's a reason they call it a gap. I think in so. real life, I have seen two or three times as much cock as Kyle has vagina. You've seen so much cock, and I've literally seen, I don't know, 40 or 50 vaginas or something like that. You've seen hundreds of cocks. Yeah, just too, You've seen yards of cocks. Just so many years of ice hockey and swimming. I've seen and a lot. locker rooms. Oh, I and... thought maybe you were a doctor in a former life. I was like, where are you seeing all your dicks? Boy? No, lots. To be one on street corners. <laughs> lots of sports. <laughs> lots of sports, and they all involved uh, showers or changing He's got eight or nephews. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uncle with benefits. I don't know. I think I think my problem with your with your vagina argument is that it, it, it feels it feels like it is bestowing a lot of shame upon this wonderful, <laughs> wonderful thing. Uh, and then no, you, I think you're the kinda, same thing to be said for like, penises too. Because it's well, not no, it, maybe you look at but it like, could, the sa could the same thing be said about a mouth? Like look at my mouth. I'll get real close up here. Look at this weird freaking thing. It's got Yeah, the same thing could be said. Out of it. Do, me got, Do me a favor. Do me a favor. I want you to I want you to take your mouth. 
Now I want you to take the brine from a can of tuna, gargle. I, I got I, man, stick I wish I had an Arby's roast beef sandwich in there and go. Look, look, look and look. that is a vagina. Mouths, we we think that mouths are pretty, uh, and and but like they are literally like they are fucking weird. Like you look That's at the, you look at a mouth objectively, it got like it's got weird bones sticking out of it. It's got all this. It's got Isn't like that also weird when middle. your mouth it's just freaking weird. It's freaking blood. weird. Lips chap, and, and and to Kyle's point, if you go and a I, day without maintenance on it, it smells yeah. terrible. Yeah, and I'm I'm and saying that like I'm saying that if eight. you felt the way that no. you felt about a woman's mouth, that you felt about her vagina, which are very like basically the same thing, uh, or, like physiologically, no. Can very I, uh, very so physiologically similar. I know of about three products for keeping your mouth spelling right. There's toothbrush. There's toothpaste, kind of go hand in hand. There's mouthwash, maybe floss if you want to count that. There are 5,000 fucking products to keep a vagina smelling right, all right? There are I, wipes, there, I, are creams, there are ointments, there are sprays, there are douches. It's because it's like a pool, there's, that there's, pH level. Are you telling me that right? you think that the vagina hygiene se section at the grocery store is bigger than the oral hygiene section at the grocery store? Because I deeply disagree, but that is not my point. My point is that you, I, I feel like you, like you're... You're making this thing into like this terrifying thing of otherness. Maybe because, maybe because like it's kind of weird and taboo, but like it's a part of the human body. It's no, I think and, that like, I understand I, what, I, what Kyle's saying in that you understand when you see it that you're supposed to be really attracted to it because of that evolutionary imperative, and you are just viscerally attracted to it if you're a straight man. But at the same time, just like a straight woman might be attracted to a dick, you can still take a step back, kind of. Pull yourself and be like, out yeah, that thing's perspective weird. and be like, okay, that is a weird body part. That dick and balls, what the fuck is going on here? This like no, weird I, I, yeah. thing. And, and, and frankly, like, what's in there? It's like if it's hairy, it's like a gopher hole. Like who knows? You know? <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's, there's nothing wrong. There's no shaming saying that right. some people I, don't find I, it attractive. I think that Kyle yeah. went into it with the joke and ended up getting a little more than he. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm vagina defensive over here. I, yeah, I do. I, and I, 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 you have a vagina? Like, like, <laughs> are, I feel like you're like, my vagina is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to see mine? It's really pretty. Co-author of the vagina monologues over there. No, I, I just think that when you really boil it down, if you take your sexual libido out of it, if you take what your balls and cock are telling your brain to do, you would look at a pussy and you would say, I'm not even sticking. I'm not sticking anything in that. That is not a good thing. It doesn't. It doesn't look good. I, and there are, of course, beautiful uh, vaginas that, that that I wouldn't say that about. No, I, I, I just think think I, I want to do this. Far. I want to do this. I think I if you were to stack rank all, all the orifices, right? Like your nostrils, your mouth, your vagina, your butthole, ears, your eyeballs. Ears. See now, eyeballs. I think are going to be near top of the heap. They're they're pretty to me objectively, and especially if you look at them up close, and they're really clean. Something about them is just so mm -hmm. self cleaning that you know Wouldn't you could do nothing for like, four days. Like, toothbrush it, on your eyeball. Just like, <laughs> that'd be gotta terrible. Clean that. It's it, real if you bad. did no eyeball maintenance for a week, and I came up and licked your eyeball, I think I would find it to be as clean as if oh, I so just did hot. it randomly, right? So, yeah. so hot, right? So you ever so eyeballs, eyeballs, I think, are right I near have. the top, me but do vaginas are not far from the top either. What, like, what? I, I think, you know, I, I, I think nostrils are yuckier than vaginas. No, uh, I don't. I, will... um, I, I, think, I think an unattended nostril, like if there's some boogers in there, but mm -hmm. like if my girlfriend falls asleep in bed, I'll totally go over there and be like, ah, and like pick her whole head up by her nostril. As you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think <laughs> all the orifices are, 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 are pretty bad, um, but I mean, the butthole... <laughs> The butthole, if cleaned properly, I think I feel like is one of the best. Honestly, like there's not gonna be any, there's not gonna be anything bad happening once it's cleaned and uh, and you know there's been well, an enemy. enemy when, yeah, when it comes to the clean, amount of maintenance I require before I lick it, I feel like the butthole is number one. Number one. However, I've never had sex with a woman who had any common sense who didn't before sex be like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. She's going to the bathroom to take like a, a warm wet washcloth and Animal. wipe the slime off her pussy before it gets back to me. Because that's what's happening. You've heard that Amy Schumer joke, we all talked about how she stole it, about how I just like for once when I take my panties off to, to, for it to look like I didn't blow my nose in them. <laughs> panties are gross. Vaginas are gross. They do stuff during the day. I, maybe some men out there aren't aware of this, but they're always kind of, of oozing secretions. or grueling. Yes, lots of lots of secretions down there. Not just. Uh, I want to say this urine. is one of the rare times in PKA history that Kyle's coming off as gayer than me with all his vagina hate. <laughs> well, maybe if we get, uh, well, let's just find a woman out there with a big wide, uh, a big wide face and strong collarbone. Big wide face. <laughs> just like two days of stubble. Just two days. <laughs> I, I have to. I have to go and like and like. 
15 minutes. Can mm-hmm. we change topics again? Belly <laughs> button fucked him. No, 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 no stop. No, 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 He's no. a respectable man. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> hey! I'll send you some links. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.